welcome and thank you for the 500 likes on part one of the AI only Rome Total War random campaign and as promised the tutorial guide so this site here this is where you download the mod from link in the description so let's just scroll down to I think about the bottom I think it is randomizer version 1.8 alpha uh, that's the latest version uh, you click on this download link here as you can see downloading randomizer version 1.8 it should pop up eventually there we go so just close that and now it's downloading okay so once it's downloaded what you then want to do is go over to your downloads where it should have saved um, you need WinRAR for this, there'll be a tutorial for WinRAR down below, but most of you probably have that by this point anyway, and um, it's needed for almost all mods. Uh, open it up using WinRAR, get rid of the advert, and what you want to do is select the randomizer, and select this file here, and then you need to extract it to wherever you have Rome Total War installed. This is a guide for the Steam version. I don't know how it works for disc, but I'm assuming it could be mostly similar. Okay, so for Steam, you need to find where your Steam library is. For me, it's somewhere different. I have my Steam library installed elsewhere. But you basically just need to find it. Then you go to your Steam apps. Then you go to Common. Scroll down until you find Rome Total War. Uh, where is it? Rome Total War Gold. Click on that and then click OK. It will then extract it into there. Okay, we can then close this, and let's now go into our Rome Total War. All right, so this is the Rome Total War folder. It should look a little bit like this. I have some extra mods here, but just ignore those. It should look near enough like this, uh, but with much less folders. So yeah, you need the randomizer here. If this is here, then you're looking good. If it's not here, you've done one step wrong, uh, the last step. Uh, but you actually need to scroll down and you need to find, where is it? Ah, this here, Rome Total War Randomizer. You double click on this, and then this takes you to the options here. This is where you can customize your units, so random sizes, which changes the number of men in that unit. So you know how elephants might have 36 and peasants might have 240. That completely randomizes that. Uh, you have random stats. So urban cohorts could fight like peasants. Or maybe not, maybe even stronger. Who knows? Random cost. Uh, that's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, random sounds that the unit makes. Uh, that could be an interesting little fun one. Random training is how tidy the formation is, uh, how their morale is, stuff like that. Random ground bonus, uh, for example, different units fight better in different terrain. For example, more Eastern and African units suffer less attrition in desert, whereas like the Germans and the British, they will suffer more attrition in desert. Uh, so I would advise actually put that on. Because, you know, you could be playing as the British with British units, yet starting in Africa. So, yeah, I'd advise random on. Random ownership is, of course, decides which faction has what unit. So, the Greek city-states may have urban cohorts, elephants, and chariots, for example. And random attitudes, of course, is about the special abilities. That could allow peasants to have war cry and stuff like that. What else does it have? Uh, chanting, circles, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so that is the unit category. Uh, you can just go through there, click whatever you want. I have a bit of an experiment with it. Uh, this is about how many attributes and uh, the maximum ownership that a faction can have. Uh, blah 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 not too important. This is my favorite bit uh, the actual faction itself on campaign random starting gold uh, Random AI each faction has a different programmed AI for example 
Uh, I'm going to make a video on this in more detail in the future, but basically, I think for Brutii, I are programmed to play more, like, normal, have infantry, some missiles, and some cav, whereas Scythia is programmed to be more cav-focused. This random AI here could make uh, the Brutii a cavalry faction, the British a missile faction, stuff like that. Unlock factions? Uh, I would say have that ticked. That unlocks all factions from the start. If that's off, I think you're limited to just whatever you have unlocked already in campaign. So yeah, just, just have unlock all factions on. Mighty Empires. Okay, this gives a faction much more units, depending on how big the faction is. I would advise having this on, otherwise big factions could crumble quite easily. Uh, random Attitudes uh, decides if factions are at war. So, for example, in normal Rome Talk to War, um, you know, there's no wars at the start. But Random Attitudes, it'll look where factions spawn, and it will put some at war with their neighbours at the start, to keep it interesting. And then there's Total War, uh, which makes all factions at war with each other from the start. I tried this though, it didn't actually work when I tried it, so maybe that's a little bugged? I don't know. Difficult to tell. Alright, and this is just for basic, like, select all, uh, select what the devs think you should have, um, import preferences, like your preferences from Rome Tunnel to War Vanilla. If you've made big changes to your preferences, I would probably advise that, but it's not too important. And always, I would say, have this ticked. Uh, this is a bug fix for the uh, the unit cards and the unit information. So yeah, this if you're done randomize units, um, this having this ticked here updates the information as well. Okay, but there's one more thing to cover: random cities, uh, Voronoi empires, or raging rebels. Uh, raging Rebels I would not advise, it makes the Rebels much more powerful and it, the AI does have a lot of trouble with it, so I wouldn't advise that one. Okay, these two here, Random Cities or Empires, is what determines how the world is going to actually look, the starting locations. So this one here distributes cities to factions using the grid that's in the game. And that forms large, normal-looking empires. So let's take a look at this. Once you've decided what you want, you then click on Randomize. It goes through the process and it will randomize the map for you. Uh, it's loading the names, it goes through all this. Usually it only takes a few seconds, it doesn't take that long. It's actually quite good with the speed. There we go, going through all the other stuff. The Mighty Empires, blah blah blah, and there we go. Ooh, interesting. I think Dacia is the main power of this. Yeah, some rebel lands there. Brutii taking over Egypt. Quite an interesting map. If we were to randomise it again, it will give us another random generated world. Oh, look at Thrace. Like a cross between Rome and Carthage. Weird. Alright, so I've randomised it again, and as you can see, it's gone for another random world. Okay, but if you were to go for random cities, that opens up this option here, the maximum amount of cities. So let's, yeah, let's keep it at 10, let's see how this looks. So this makes it much more random and less, uh, you know, less empire-based. Uh, let's, let's see how this actually looks. How random is it going to make it? Oh, that looks, oh, that looks weird, so you, we've got Dacia here looking very interesting, Macedon up there. And then we've got loads of rebel territory, the Seleucid Empire with only one settlement, the Julii with only one settlement. Yeah, that is a very random map. Pontus there with just one, I mean, you've got the big empires, weird. Wow, that's weird. Alright, and then... You know, you can maybe lower it to 1, possibly, randomise this, let's see how this looks. So what this basically does is, it randomises it so that every faction should start off with one settlement. There we go, ooh! The Middle East, very open for, I believe, the Iberians. 
Yeah, they're going to have a very good campaign in this. All that free territory. Nice. Looking good. Okay, and then you can click play whenever you want. Um, if you want it in windowed mode, uh, click window mode. If you want it in AI only mode, click on this. This is not the AI only mode that I use for my campaigns. Uh, this is something else. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise clicking this. But, you know, feel free to try it. It's all about experimenting with this, I think. So, yeah, that's it. That's the tutorial guide on how to download, install and use the randomizer mod. I believe it comes with even more features as well, but those are far too complex and, to be honest, this is all what most of you are going to be using. Oh yeah, like, look here, um, if you go into tools, you can get the EDU viewer, that goes much more in depth into it all. Um, if we were to go here, uh, the strat viewer completely crashes it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I do hope you have enjoyed that tutorial guide, and if you want to see content based on this, check out my AI-only campaign. I plan to continue with that, maybe do more AI-only campaigns with different settings, and maybe do a little bit of a let's play as well. It could be good fun, a good laugh in the random world. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. As promised, we hit 500 likes on the last video, so here you go. Here is the tutorial guide, as promised. I've been Melkor, subscribe for more content on Rome Total War and this mod, share this video with anyone else you think may be interested. Until the next one, tomorrow's video, part 2 of the AI only campaign, goodbye.